GSB supercharging the traffic. I put the kid on the caddy. What's going on YouTube? Now I am here and I'm back with another banger video today. And yes, look, y'all seen the title, y'all seen the thumbnail. Today I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to send samples to your manufacturer the correct way, you know what I'm saying? How to make the best tech pack, how to make literally everything so you and your manufacturer could be on the same page and y'all basically know what y'all want. Your manufacturer know what you want in terms of the quality and all of that good stuff. I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to design a tech pack, how to send samples, how to get the right colors down, how to tell your manufacturer what colors you want. All in this video for the free sauce, bro. I'm telling y'all, every single video, I'm giving y'all free sauce. So literally hit that like button and subscribe. Why would you not subscribe if every video you get in free sauce? If you want the sauce, you want the sauce. If you don't want it, you don't want it. Bro, I still haven't shipped out these orders. These orders is going out tomorrow because I scheduled a pickup. So the post office is going to be coming to my house tomorrow and picking up all these orders. I got some more orders right here. And if y'all was wondering what the hoodie was, this is the hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Nice little quality. Y'all see on this one. This one is a personal on mine because this one has like a little stain on it. So I chose this one to be the personal. And yeah, we got the little custom bag. Also, I'm going to be telling y'all how to send the business cards and stuff, the logos on your business cards. Literally, how to set up your bulk order the right way, how to get your samples and your bulk. So, literally, why would you not watch? Like, I'm going to teach y'all how to do this. What to tell y'all manufacturer if y'all want this, how to design it as well. You know what I'm saying? I got this little little puffer and the puff is nice i'm gonna be showing you the tech pack i made for this as well but this is what i meant as like woven tags and stuff if y'all want to learn how to make this keep watching this video literally teaching y'all how to send it because i know a lot of y'all be struggling because i was first struggling with trying to send samples and stuff because nobody would teach me and stuff so i didn't know i didn't know how to make a pdf everything i know y'all be having trouble with making pdfs bro because they be asking okay oh, i get a pdf file bro i don't know how to make a pdf file i know y'all be having trouble with that because i did so yeah if you're new make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and we got some stock up here as well if you guys on the shop if you guys want those hoodies we got smalls right here extra extra large right here extra large it's just limited quantities hit that link in the bottom if you want to go shop they ship out the next day or one to two weeks shipping like one subscribe let's get into this all right so the first thing i do before i'm gonna go make my new sample literally before i touch photoshop the first thing i do is figure out what colors i want so you can either go two ways about this because the colorway has like a lot to go with it i already have a design made but i don't know like what colors i want so today i'm gonna just be picking the colors out and stuff and put them on a tech pack and teach you how to send that as well and like how to send like the business cards because i know a lot of you have been wondering how to send business card logos and also the packaging so i'm gonna be teaching y'all that today but what i'd like to do is find the colors I want. Ask the manufacturer what colors they have, like show them like the little book, or they can either give one to you so you can have one in hand. I got one from my manufacturer. It's right here. Y'all want to get this from your manufacturer. It has like the different labels and all of that stuff. I'm just be sitting here try to figure out what colors I want. So yeah, and I'm low-key thinking gray, the cream color, and something else. So yeah, I'm gonna pick up the camera back when I decide. And once I decide, I'm gonna let y'all know what colors I'm gonna do. And I'm actually gonna be dropping these two as well. I'm gonna teach y'all how to send a sample. Once you get the sample, and now I'm gonna teach y'all how to promote it. So that's gonna be a whole different video though as well. So if you wanna stay tuned to that, hit that like button, subscribe. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be getting uh, these samples in the, probably in the next week once I actually send them to my manufacturer. But my manufacturer, they take like one week. Bulk, they take like two weeks. That's why you gotta build a strong connection with your manufacturer, bro. You can get fast shipping times. If you have a good connection with your manufacturer, bro, that's fast shipping times as well. Literally, you can get free stuff as well too. I get free packaging, I get all that. So if y'all want a manufacturer, get my Instagram and the link in the bottom if y'all want my manufacturer. Ooh, I'm low key thinking. I will key wanna do some bright colors. Okay, so boom, as y'all see on the screen right here, I got my design and all that right now. Comment down below, let me know right now if it's bad or if it's good, I ain't glad, because I like the design. But I gotta fix a few things about it. Find out what colors I'm going to do. This is the design I got here. I'm just gonna add a little bit of stuff so y'all can see it. I'm gonna add a little bit of stuff towards it and change a few things and then we're gonna get into the tech pack as well and i'm gonna also show you how to create a tech pack yes i know everybody is wondering how do i to create a tech pack i'm gonna be making different colors as well different colors i'm gonna be sending to my manufacturer too i'm gonna be telling you how to talk to our manufacturer and how to send it to our manufacturer so yeah if you want to learn all that i'm just saying bro hit that like button subscribe hit that like button subscribe right now i'll wait so first, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not liking how the effects look, you know what I'm saying? This is gonna be like a regular hoodie. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it acid washed, but I'm gonna just leave it like this and like have it puff print over the um pockets as well. What I'm going to do here, I have the color blues. I'm gonna be switching the color blues out. I'm not sure if I wanna make it like a pure blue, but I'm just gonna make it like a light blue like that as well. So we gotta change the bevel because the bevel is looking bad. I'm not gonna lie. And it also, this is a little hack. If I wanna make it look like it's puff print, 
Like, y'all just go over here and play with the settings a little bit. And then y'all gonna get it. Y'all gonna get, the, like, a little puffering look. Because I know y'all see this. And it looks good a little bit, but it could be better. I'm not even gonna lie. So, I'm gonna go ahead and fix the bevel up. See, that looks, that, that looks better. I'm not gonna lie. Hold on, I'm gonna change it a little bit. Uh, put a little bit up. Put the overlay a little bit down. All right, that looks a little, a little better. All right, so this is what the main hoodie gonna look like on, on the hoodie. The mock-up looks amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm honestly in love with this hoodie because this is like the second version. I'm gonna show y'all the first version right now. All right, so when I was talking about, if you guys seen my, my video on um how I started my clothing brand, y'all will see that I made these hoodies like real like back then. So this is like the kind of V2 towards it. This is kind of like the second version, which is honestly going to be like way better because the quality on my last ones was horrible. But it changed the quality up because now I had a manufacturer. And last time I did not have a manufacturer, bro. That's kind of bad. I'm not going to lie. So yeah, these are the, like the OG hoodies. So yeah, we got from this to this to this. And yeah, I'm kind of liking it. I'm thinking about doing embroidery on the sleeve. So I'm like, yeah, I low key just like think about it in my brain before like how would this look good as an embroidery on the sleeve right there? So I think I'm just gonna do these two designs and just have a, a woven tag label as well. You finish your design, right? You got your logo, you got your design, you got everything you want in the desired color, right? What's the next thing you do? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna open a new file. It doesn't matter how big it is. You can either make it like a square or you can make it like a thumbnail. So I'm gonna just go with this size. I could copy if y'all want 1920 to 1080. So what I'm gonna do here, copy. Control Alt A so it could um hold all of it and then I'm gonna duplicate it to the other project as well. Or you guys could just save it, but I like to duplicate it in case I want to edit anything. And I'm just gonna put this right here. I'm not gonna lie. Put this right here, make the background white. And this is where the fun part comes. You guys just basically want to list everything out, like the details and everything. What I like to do right here, I like to put hoodie details, hoodie. Yo, can I not spell, bro? Hoodie details, right here, right? Y'all don't gotta make it look good. It's just the manufacturer. Like, it's basically y'all just telling them what to do, right? So, hoodie details, I like to say 100% cotton, custom woven tags, because you want your manufacturer to know that as well. Yo, it's like I'm pressing my button, but it's not pressing, bro. Yo, bro. I'm switching out my keyboard. I'm not gonna lie. Bro. I told you straight, custom woven tags. You know what I'm saying? You have your custom woven tags, and I'm gonna get into how to make the custom woven tags later, and what and how to send that to your manufacturer as well. So custom woven tags, 100% cotton, and right here you just want to list anything else that like is about the hoodie details. Like you could put what percent, um, what quality you want, what type of print. I'm gonna put puff print and embroidery right here. Puff print. Puff print and embroidery. I don't know how to spell it, so don't get on me, bro. I'm still in high school. I don't know how to spell this, dog. So this is where I'm gonna just put like the little hoodie details. That's about it. I'm not gonna lie about the hoodie. Oh, uh, it's gonna come with the bottom at the. Uh, I might make it cropped, honestly. All right. So this is where you get into the hoodie details, where you what you want your hoodie to look like, right? So boom. You want to go, I add a new layer, and I literally, I simply just draw a line to like where the stuff is at. And I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to put Puff Print logo. All Puff Prints, because you know, Puff Print is literally up there. You know what I'm saying? And right here, we're going to draw another line. Don't matter if you make a new layer or not. Draw another line right here. Add some text. You can just copy the, from this one. If y'all see me moving fast, y'all could just like, Slow. I'm gonna try to slow down for y'all because I've been designing for a minute, so I low key know how to do all of it already. So I'm gonna go all right here, just copy and paste it, or to get a new text, and I'm gonna put embroider. Oh. There you go. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Embroidered, embroidery text, embroidery logo on sleeve. The more specific it is, the better it is because the more you're telling your manufacturer, the better it's gonna come out. For this, I, I'm already close to my manufacturer, so he knows like my type of style in the hoodies. So all I gotta do is tell him the embroidery logo. If you guys wanna get deeper into that, you guys could literally measure it out yourself and just, yeah, like you guys could send them the exact measurements of your hoodie. So this is what it will look like. I'm going to say another thing is I'm going to put another line to the color. 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna put the color here. I'm gonna draw a line, and then I'm gonna put the color of it right here, like in like little circles. It might be good to your manufacturer. It might, you know what I'm saying? But draw another line, and then I'm gonna put the same color because it's all the same color. Draw another line. This is what I just like to do so the manufacturer can know what I want, different colors, in case the stuff is tripping. Because I'm not going to lie, bro. Manufacturers be acting dumb sometimes. I ain't even going to cap. Your tech pack isn't supposed to look cute. It's not supposed to look good. You're, it's just a way for you to tell your manufacturer what you want. And now everybody asking me on how do you change the color, whatever. This is why you copy and paste the stuff. If you're on Photoshop, that's why it's better. Or if you guys have the layers as well. If you guys have the layers, then you're good because you could change the separate colors. Or I'm going to show you all a hack. Once you guys already finish your tech pack and you guys want like the same colorways but different colors, you guys could just go on top of the tech pack and then go to gradient map, go to hue and saturation, and then just change this color. And then it changes it to any any color on the wheel. So if I wanted to make a purple hoodie, I could just click purple and boom, it goes right there. Like telling you how the sauce, if I want to make a red hoodie, orange hoodie, I might make an orange one. This one low-key look good. I want to make an orange one if i want to make a red one it just all pops up right here and if i want to change the color even more go to human saturation right here and then click colorize and then yeah you can just change your color from right here as well that is literally that easy if y'all want to change the color or if y'all could always edit it to make it like more realistic and stuff like this will be a gray one let's say you want the heart to be like darker because you want to see the hearts you don't want to make it too hard to, to see so i might lower this a little bit so you can still see some of the gray. It's not the hardest thing in the world, bro. You got the hearts different color. And yeah, like this is how you will make your tech pack. And there's all there's a lot of ways you could change the colors as well. Different ways are more effective. Yeah, and then everybody wondering if your manufacturer does have specific colors, some colors. I personally have this book, so it's easier for me to see the colors as well in person. See, like me comparing this hoodie, it'll probably be this color. Probably be this color. So I would just look at the color with, oh, I like red. I will make it red. And if the color doesn't look on Photoshop, you can easily just tell your manufacturer, make it red, make the color of the, the text darker red. And yeah, that's literally just it. I'm not even gonna lie. You just wanna make sure you get your colors right. You wanna make sure you get your design right. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you create your tech pack. Now let's get into how do I make the woven tags. You know what I'm saying? Cause you don't wanna use the same woven tags for every single drop. You could, but I like to switch mine up because like different collection means different drop and stuff. So I'm gonna go open a whole new window and I'm gonna open this the same size because this size is like a good size. I'm not even gonna lie, I make all of my text on here. So yeah, what you wanna do is you wanna make the woven woven tag, woven size tag, a little, something that represents the logo and something that represents all of it. So what I might do is get this like little sleeve heart right here. Hold on, I gotta get this. I'm, I'm probably gonna get this little like sleeve heart. I'm not even gonna lie. And then put it over here. And then since it's blue, we're going to change the color to blue. We're going to get the same color of blue right here. Hold on. Oh, let's use this color blue. And let's make it the background. Because this this is what your manufacturer is going to put as the woven tag. You want the woven tag to match the... Yeah, you get, you get what I'm trying to say. You want the woven tag to match it. So I'm going to go over here. Press OK. Click the color. Oh my, bro, like, I don't know why the quality, like, looks so horrible. So we got the woven tag, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it being low quality. I don't really care because it's not gonna be low quality when I send it at the end because I'm going to fix it. So we got that out the way. And now what I could do, I'm gonna design just a little woven tag right here. I might put small and then make that, let's say, like, white or something or, like, a darker blue. Probably something like this. Hold on. Make it bigger. What I'm going to do is make this color like a, a blueish. See now, now it's coming, it's starting to come come together a little bit. Match the uh so it can match the colorway. So I'm gonna put small and then I'm gonna like just choose a little font, make a little font real quick. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh nah, I'm not liking the font, bro. See, you you, you gonna make some stuff you might like, you might like the you might not like the font, so you just gotta change the font a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing to change the font a little bit. This is the font. I like it a little bit. I'm not even gonna lie. It's kind of like like everybody else be doing it, but it's cool. Okay. This is what I'm gonna do. And then, oh, I see now. I just got an idea. I can make the small like into a heart. You know what I'm saying? 
So if I want to make it into a heart, so you want to make the heart a little bit. And I know there's easier ways to do this, but this is just the way I like to do it because I don't know any other way to do it. So just want to make it, rasterize. I'm not going to just go through the whole thing. If y'all want to watch, y'all can watch it. But, and like I said, I know there's easier ways to do this. This is just the way I know how to do it. This is the way I learned, so I'm going to do it like this. You heard me? And I know there's probably better results. Don't be in the comments like, oh, it's way easier, way easier this way. I know, bro. I know you got to go on Adobe Illustrator. I know I can, but I just don't. I, I just like to do it like, you know, this is the easiest way I know. Once you get your logo, something like this, so like it's in a heart, and make it to a heart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off and this probably gonna be the size label, the size tag. I'm not gonna lie, cause I'm low key like, turn this to like blue, like this. So this might just be the size tag and I might just do small, medium, and large. What I would do now is just type in small, medium, and large. So now it's like a heart. So I could just leave it like this to be a size tag. It matches the theme a little bit. What I'm gonna do is to make it match the theme a little more, I'm gonna just add these hearts as well. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm really giving y'all the sauce, bro. I'm giving y'all the sauce. So y'all better hit that like button, bro. Teaching y'all how, how I do all of this. So yeah, if I wanted to make the hearts, take it out right here. So yeah, this will be like the woven size tag. I'm gonna just put the hearts and stuff right here. And then you wanna do this, delete. And then, yeah. So it's basically like a replica of design but it's not really a replica because like yeah it's a size tag so you want the size tag to look little, a little match it a little bit but i might just do this to the size tag so yeah this will be the size tag i'm gonna add the top the top parts as well so it could like match you don't got it you don't have to make it match i just personally like to make it match and stuff so because like that's how i like my brand to be i like everything like matching like coordinate so as i can see it's somewhat like the the main design which basically I'm going for. All right, so they are the same color. So this one will be the small size label, as y'all can see, obviously. So there's like a little, little creative thing. And if you want to add the extra little heart right here. So the woven size tag is basically like a, like a copy of the actual design because I like that and that's a little creative to me. If, it ain't, if you don't think it's creative, I don't care. I like to do that with my stuff. I bet, so this will be like the small size tag, as I see. And right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just make it all a group. And I'm just gonna put it in the middle and I'm gonna save this. You wanna save it, right? Export. Hold on, y'all can't see this. All right, now, now, export and I'm gonna put statement size small woven tag. So this is where you wanna come back to here. Come back to here and this is where you wanna put your woven tag at. I'm gonna find the file, you know what I'm saying? And this is where I wanna put the woven tag. As I see, like it resembles a little bit. The colors may be off, but I'm gonna fix that later. I'm gonna take my woven tag and I'm gonna just place my woven tag right here. Right? Or you could place it up here and then bring like a little right here. And then I bring this right here instead, make it black, bring this right here. So instead woven tag, you could just drag it right there and then put custom woven tag, size, small woven tag. And what y'all wanna do for every woven tag, y'all wanna make one for a size extra small, size medium. Y'all wanna make one for each color in like each size, obviously, because you want a different woven tag for each side. All right, so what I'm gonna do right here is just gonna put custom woven tag. So what I'm going to do right here, put size small woven tag, and every every single color you have, every single color where you want, you're just gonna want to put a different woven tag, a different color as well. See, if y'all wanna change the color of like everything, y'all could just put hue and saturation and just change it like that. But it's not gonna look the greatest as it looks like that, but it's gonna look way different in person because you got the actual pictures in here, the actual fabrics in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna probably make this colorway, this one. Oh, this is a really good blue, like a royal blue and then a light blue and then probably like a little gray. So that's like all the colors I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna just make one for each one, but I'm just gonna be showing y'all this one in, in this video. But when I drop it, I'm actually just gonna change the color and send it to my manufacturer. So it's just gonna be the same process either way, but you just want, if you just want the different colors, you can just change the hue and saturation over here, or you can just manually go in and just change the colors of each product. But as y'all see, size woven tag right here. And what y'all wanna do, y'all wanna save this and put this to a manufacturer, right? Y'all wanna send all of this to a manufacturer. What I personally do is I would upload like the files. You only want to send the files to the manufacturer. You want to send this whole tech pack and you just want to send the PNGs as well. So I'm going to just show y'all what I would do. So I'm just going to go over here 
and I'm going to delete everything except for the PNGs. So my manufacturer just has all of the PNGs and nothing else. So first things first, let's open a new document because you want everything to be like new as well. So 2000 by 2000. And first thing I'm going to do is save this, right? You wanna have this saved, put this away, just leave that, right? When you're sending to your manufacturer, it doesn't matter the colors, but you just wanna show them like what type of color. So I'm gonna send this five, because I don't know about y'all manufacturer, but my, my manufacturer could like separate all of it himself, cause he knows how to do that. So I'ma just let him to do all of that himself because he has to just like layer it to all the different products. I'm gonna make all of it like black, I'm take out all the effects and everything. So it could just be a regular PNG. So right here. So basically you just wanna send this and send this straight to your manufacturer. Send it as a PNG. You can send it as a PNG. If they allow you, if they tell you to do a PDF, you could just convert it online. But I had trouble in the past converting it to a PDF because that's the one thing I've always had a problem with. If they need, need a PDF, then I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't know. I don't know how to convert it on computer, but I have a MacBook and it lets me convert it on a MacBook. I, I just right click and it just press create PDF and I just send that to my manufacturer. So I'm going to show you how I do it on my MacBook and I don't know how to do it on my computer because I just do it on my MacBook. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to export it, save and you want to export it as a PNG. Make sure the background is not there and you want to put logo, logo file and then you want to save to where it is. And then what I'm gonna do, I usually put it from my computer onto my MacBook. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my computer, then we're gonna go ahead on my MacBook, you know what I'm saying? I gotta actually pick up the camera and show y'all. All right, boom, so we're on my sweet little MacBook, you know what I'm saying? Bro, let me know. If y'all be messing, bro, if y'all like all American, bro, type it. Let me know down below in the comments, bro, because I ain't gonna lie, all American is literally like the greatest show. I'm not even gonna cap. I know y'all see that I'm on season five, but hey, we on soap today because look, we can't, we don't got Netflix, you know what I'm saying? So we gotta get a soap today. I got all the little stuff right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and download, and I'm gonna just download this right here, right? And then we're gonna open WhatsApp, you know what I'm saying, where my manufacturer is at. So yeah, y'all can't see that, but yeah. Gonna open a little WhatsApp. If you're new here, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. We're close to 2.5k. Know what I'm saying? We bought it at 3k. I want to hit 3k by the end of the month. That's the goal. How I do it on MacBook is what I would do is I go to my downloads, go to your downloads, and what I do, I right click, I click quick actions and create PDF. That's how I do it on my MacBook, and then it pops up as a PDF right here. This is just the more convenient way. Y'all can search up on Google how to do it on PC. But this is like literally what I just do. Create PDF and then I just drag all of these and I just send it to my manufacturer just like that. Y'all been saying it's hard, it's hard. It's really not that hard. Y'all can see it right here. Little PNG file. This file right here as well. High quality. So this is all the files you're going to need. This is all the files I'm going to send to my manufacturer. I still got to send them this um, PNG as well. But I'm going to send this to them right in a few because I ain't trying to do all of that right now. And what you want to do is just drag all of these and send these to your manufacturer. I'm going to do that real quick. So we got all of the files here as y'all see and we just going to click send so as y'all saw we click send right there so basically what you just want to tell the manufacturer is right after you send you want to tell them okay this is blue sample so i just told them that's the blue sample as well because i'm not going to send them all right now because i want to just sit down and like actually like do it because i'm gonna actually drop these I'm actually gonna drop the blue color. So if y'all seen this, if y'all want that blue color, go to the link in bio, sign up for SMS if y'all actually want it. And yeah, just get notified when we drop. But unfortunately, that is the end of the video. If you like the video, if you're new, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe. I just taught y'all a lot of sauce, bro. And also another thing, if y'all want this uh, fabric thing, just literally contact your manufacturer, they'll most likely give it to you for free. But yeah, if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe. Free sauce, every single video, I'm gonna be giving y'all free sauce. So hit that like button, subscribe, post notifications, turn on post notifications. Y'all want to get notified every time I drop. I'm going to try to drop every three days. Shopslingerman.com. Now I'm out. Bitch. Air Force One. I done ran through a hundred pairs. Bottom of my gun got a drum. It's a